News. This is ABC World News Tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas. And we begin tonight with the situation rapidly spiraling out of control in northern Syria. One week since President Trump ordered U.S. forces out of that region, effectively abandoning America's allies in the fight against ISIS. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. The Kurds who fought alongside the U.S. against ISIS. Now horrific reports of atrocities committed by Turkish-backed fighters on those very allies. A reporter, take a look at this live streaming video when a convoy is hit by a Turkish airstrike. President Trump ordering about 1,000 U.S. troops to withdraw from northern Syria. Since pulling U.S. troops from the region, hundreds of ISIS prisoners and sympathizers have gone free. About 200,000 Kurds have been displaced, and Kurdish leaders now looking for help from unlikely new allies. ABC's Ian Panel is in Syria to lead us off. This video, obtained by ABC News, appears to show the fury of the Turkish attack on the border town of Talabyad two nights ago. Tonight, President Trump ordering the withdrawal of all U.S. troops from northern Syria. Just one week after his fateful call with President Erdogan of Turkey triggered a disastrous chain of events. This is ABC World News Tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas. And we begin tonight with the situation rapidly spiraling out of control in northern Syria. One week since President Trump ordered U.S. forces out of that region, effectively abandoning America's allies in the fight against ISIS. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. The Kurds who fought alongside the U.S. against ISIS. Now horrific reports of atrocities committed by Turkish-backed fighters on those very allies. A this video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. The Kurds who fought alongside the U.S. against ISIS. Now horrific reports of atrocities committed by Turkish-backed fighters on those very allies. In a tweet, President Donald Trump called the media the true enemy of the people. But they can make anything bad because they are the fake, fake, disgusting news. The president said, quote, there is great anger in our country caused in part by inaccurate and even fraudulent reporting of the news. The fake news media, the true enemy of the people, must stop the open and obvious hostility and report the news accurately and fairly. That will do much to put out the flame of anger and outrage, and we will then be able to bring all sides together in peace and harmony. Fake news must end. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. The press are enemies of the people? Enemies of the people are a phrase that comes from Stalin. It was used by the Soviets. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. Enemies of the people were sent to the Gulag or were executed. Um, I haven't heard that phrase since the reforms of perestroika under, under Gorbachev. But the fact is the press is not the enemy of the people. This is a very deliberate attempt to, to train the American people not to believe anything they hear except from the president, except from the administration. Town, the Kurds who fought alongside the U.S. against ISIS. Now horrific reports of atrocities committed by Turkish-backed fighters on those very allies. It is our job to report on facts, and to hold leaders accountable. That is who we are. We are not fake news. We are not failing news organizations. And we are not the enemy of the American people.
Are you talking to me? Yeah, it was just a follow-up of what I just asked listen, you, sir. Listen, you ready? We have the president of Finland. Ask him a question. I have one for him. I just wanted to follow up on the one that I asked you, which did was, you hear what me? did you want did him you hear to me? Yes, Ask sir. him a question. I, I will, but I've my given you a long answer. Ask <laughs> this gentleman a question. Don't be rude. No, sir, I don't want to be rude. I just wanted you to have a chance to answer the question that I asked I've you. I've answered everything. It's a whole hoax. And you know who's playing into the hoax? People like you and the fake news media that we have in this country. And I say, in many cases, the corrupt media, because you're corrupt. Much of the media in this country is not just fake, it's corrupt. And you have some very fine people, too. Great journalists, great reporters. But it, to a large extent, it's corrupt and it's fake. Ask the President of Finland a question, please. Whatever happened to fair press, whatever happened to honest reporting? 